Hey, what's up, Chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be out and about on the Esos 5 Star. We're going to be fixing this front rack, and I'm going to show you how to turn your 5 Star into a revenue generating machine. That's right, folks. I signed up for Uber Eats, Instacart, Grubhub, you name it. We're going to be delivering some food on this bike using the front basket. But without further ado, let's get right into it. You know, guys, so many people. Uh, left me mean comments saying, you know, why don't you show how you do these mods and stuff. So today I'm going to show you how to fix the front basket to your bike. All you got to do is loosen and remove these four Allen bolts. Now we've got the Allen bolts removed. We simply put the basket up here and bolt it on guys. Can it be much easier than that? Could it? Now this is a very robust rack. That's it guys. Five minutes. Rack is installed. This is a really sturdy rack. And guys, let me tell you something. I really enjoy a nice big rack, if you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, now that I'm done with this st thorough step-by-step -step installation video, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And, you know, maybe I'll even fly to your house to show you how to do the rest, since clearly you can't comprehend anything. Anyways, guys, let's get outside and start making some money. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, I've signed up for all the services. Now all we got to do is wait for our first order. Any minute now. A few minutes later. Looks like we just got our first order. Should be an easy one, Grubhub. We're gonna just pick up some cookies from Crumble and deliver it to one happy customer. Come on guys, let's get going. Well, luckily for me, there's a Crumble not too far from my house. So this first order shouldn't take too long at all. I have to say, it's a little bit weird seeing the rack on front. You turn the wheel and then, you know, the rack just stays facing forward. I mean, there's nothing better than a nice big rack. You know what I'm saying? So if you're worried about the price of your five star, you know, 1895, whatever the current price is, don't worry because if you follow this tutorial, you'll make enough money delivering food to pay off your bike in absolutely no time. And the great thing about it is, once you start doing this, you can write off absolutely everything. That's right, folks. Follow me for more tax advice. All right, guys, we got our first order here. Crumble cookies. If you guys haven't tried these, I highly recommend it. Don't tell anyone, but let's go ahead and take it. Let's take a little peek at these cookies. Oh, wow. Looks like they got four lemon cookies. Uh, they probably wouldn't notice if I had just a little piece, right? It's an additional service I offer for my Grubhub customers. Mm -hmm. These are safe for consumption, guys. Simply load these up into our nice handy dandy rack and let's deliver these to one happy customer. Come on, guys, let's go. So according to the map, it's showing me, it's telling me to go another way around. But you know what, guys? I've lived in this town my whole life. There's a shortcut right up this way. And I'm just going to shave even a minute off this job. That's going to make the customer that much happier. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This RST guide front forks, these cookies only won't fill a thing, will they? I'm gonna take the bigger shortcut here. First delivery is almost in the books, fellas. Getting it done in record time. Oh, this is it, this is it. Guys, we made it to our very first delivery. I'm so excited. Well, the special notes say if the door is locked to leave it on the balcony. So I'm gonna try and get it up to the balcony, okay? All right, here goes nothing. There we go, guys, our first very satisfied customer. Come on, let's go do another delivery now, let's go. All right, guys, we're on our way to pick up our second order. It's from none other than the Dollar General. So this one should be fairly easy as well. I bet you those people are enjoying those delicious cookies already. It's no time for us to relax and reap the rewards of our work at this point. We got to go right to the next job, guys. So we're going to head to the Dollar General, pick up this order, and deliver it to our next happy customer. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, we got our first grocery order from the Dollar General. Now, this one's going to put this bike to a little bit more of a test because this is heavier, there's some cans in there and whatnot. 
I'm gonna go ahead and place this right in our handy dandy front basket and let's get delivering. Come on guys, let's go. Oh, this one isn't too far away, so these people must be really lazy. Man, these maps keep telling me which way to go. Clearly whoever's making these maps doesn't live in Antioch because I know ways that are way faster than what they're telling me. We're gonna get these groceries delivered in record time. I really hope these people will appreciate the extra effort I'm putting into getting these delivered on time. You know, even early. Parkour. I can't even tell a difference that there's weight on the bike at all. And look guys, no wobble. It's not wobbling. Time to take another little shortcut. We're gonna be cutting this one a little close, guys. Here we go, dropping in. We're still in it, guys. We got five minutes left. We're almost there, fellas. These people need their, these people need their groceries. I'm the right man for the job. Drop it in. Almost there, fellas. Guys, looks like we made this one just in time. They said to leave it on the chair. That's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, on the next order. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, we got two happy customers. We're off to a good start. Yeah, it looks like we just got our next order. Ooh, this is one I can relate to, Taco Bell. So we got a little bit of a ride to get to Taco Bell and then uh, catch up with you guys there. Finally, a delivery I can put my heart and soul into. You know, Taco Bell is my favorite fast food restaurant. I love that place. And we're here. Yeah. These little holes in the basket are perfect for a nice soda from Taco Bell. Look at that. Thank you, man. Have a nice day. All right. Let's go make our final delivery for the day, fellas. You know what I'm just noticing here? That soda's filled a little too high, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I'd like to add as an additional service only when Shoot the Chip delivers your food. I'm going to get a little bit of this soda out of this cup. We don't want to waste it. So, just don't want to spill any, guys. You wouldn't want that, would you? And you know what? I also want to make sure the order is correct. Because they seem very adamant that they didn't want any tomatoes on their item. So, let's make sure there's no tomatoes in here. That looks like I made quite the mess. They won't miss just one napkin, will they? You know what, guys? I'll just say they messed up the order and they didn't add the taco in there. It'll be our little secret, right? Hey, we're delivering Taco Bell. Man, these people must have not wanted to get out of the house because this, this delivery is only a couple blocks away. looked but she wasn't looking at anything all right our final delivery guys a few minutes later damn shithead well, there you have it, guys. That's just one of the ways you can take this bike and use it to earn additional revenue. So don't think of these bikes as just a, a, an ex extra expense for a toy you're only gonna use to have fun. No, slap on this nice, beautiful front rack, and you can use this to deliver food in your spare time and pay for the entire bike. So guys, if you're interested in buying an ESELS 5-star for yourself, you can use the link in the description of this video. Use coupon code CHIT100 to save yourself $100 off your order. Remember, there's no tax, no shipping, and uh, anyways, guys, so if you like my tutorial on how to earn extra money using your e-bike, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.